Next month, the Radio Academy Awards will be held. We don't normally know who's won until the night, but we can tell you tonight that the Lifetime Achievement Award will be won by Tony Blackburn. He's live on PM. Congratulations. This is your second Lifetime Achievement Award. Well, it is, Eddie. Thank you very much indeed. Yes, I was very surprised. I was on a holiday in St. Lucia, and John Myers from Radio Academy uh, rung me up and said they would like to give me the award for the second time, and I thought I had too much rum, rum and too much sun. Uh, but uh, but uh, I, I'm absolutely honoured, yes. I was very, very surprised. Does it seem like two lifetimes? Uh, it does, yes. <laughs> it, uh, it seems like quite a long time. I mean, I started in 1964 on the pirate radio ships, and, uh, you know, then open up Radio 1, and it's been... I mean, I've had the most wonderful time, and I think I'm probably happier now than I ever have been, because I, I work for six radio stations, including Radio 2, and, uh, you know, some BBC local radio, some in national and local radio, which, and uh, I work for some lovely people, and uh, it just gives me a lot of pleasure. You're far too smart to tell me which you prefer between working for the BBC or working for a commercial radio, but... Um, oh, I can tell you that. OK. Uh, BBC. <laughs> <laughs> I like both. Uh, you know, it's, it's nice to work for both, but I, I've always had a deep love of the BBC, you know, right from the word go, and it's a very special organisation, and it gets criticised a lot, I know, but, you know, we're very lucky in this country, I think, to have it. There's lots of talk about the future of the BBC and its mm. funding. As a, a lover of radio, what do you think about the argument about licence fee versus subscription or something else? Well, I personally think that the, um, the licence fee is just terrific value for money. I, I really do, and I think it's best to leave it as it is. Uh, that's what, that's what I, w I would think. I know uh, Noel Edmonds wants to buy it. I, I'm not quite in favour of that. Uh, I think the way it is now, I think it, it should be left the way it is, and I think we get terrific value for money. And I'm not just saying that because I work for the BBC. I, I'm a listener and a viewer, and uh, if you think of some of the other subscriptions for other services, you know, it is terrific value for money. Are you against the Edmonds plan just because it's Noel Edmonds? No, no, I, I'm a very good friend of Noel Edmonds, and I'm not quite sure whether he's being serious or not, but he didn't seem to have much of a plan. Uh, no, I like Noel very much indeed, but I can't, uh, I don't think it's a good idea to take it over as a private organisation, as he's suggesting. It's not, not my idea. I think it should be left the way it is, and I think it performs beautifully the way, the way it's uh, performing now. How do people respond to you when you meet them? Because you have been part of people's lives for such a long time that I'm, I'm just in, intrigued as to how they respond. Well, um, j just, you know, the older I've got, the nicer people have, have, have come to me. And, and um, they say, you know, I've grown up with you. And I jokingly say, you know, I'm terribly sorry about that. But uh, and, and since I've been doing Pick of the Pops particularly and come back on national radio, it took me 30 years. I was off national radio, and now I'm back with with Pick of the Pops. The, the public, absolutely fantastic. And, uh, you know, it's lovely when people come up and say, you know, I used to listen to you when I was at school, or I used to listen to you when I got married, or what have you. And to be a part of, um, you, you know, the country like that. And I've had a really privileged time, and uh, I really appreciate it very, very much. Uh, you won the first Lifetime Achievement Award 25 years ago. Here yes. comes the second. You must be aiming for the third. Uh, well, yes, I've worked it out that if uh, if the third comes along and it's 25 years, I'll be 96. So I'm hoping, Eddie, you'll be able to help me up on the stage. Sure. Well, we'll talk to you on PM then.